started um, with talking about parallel and perpendicular. Let's start out by talking about parallel. I just want to look at it image real quick. So this right here is a set of parallel lines. And if you notice, they're both slanted the same way. And one special thing about parallel lines that we can say is that they have the same slope. So if you can find the slope of one of the lines, then the next line will be the same. So if you notice, these are both slanted the same way, same steepness, so therefore they have the same slope. So let's say if I have a line with a slope of 7, then a line that's parallel to it will have a slope of 7 as well. Nothing will change. Let's say if I have a line with a slope of like negative 2 over 3, then a line that is parallel to it will have the exact same slope. It will be negative 2 over 3. So same slope. So let's see how this works in our problem. So if I give you a point, let's say we're trying to find the equation of the line that goes through the point 3, negative 1, and is parallel to, let's say, 5x minus 7y equals 15. So we have the point already. So we know that the line is going to go through the point 3, negative 1. But we also need a slope because what we're going to do is put that point and a slope into our point slope formula, which I'll show you in just a minute. So we have this point. Now we have to look at this equation and figure out what the slope is going to be. Because once I find the slope of this equation, then I say, okay, I'm going to use the same slope since we're talking about a parallel line. So let's take a look at this and solve for y. Because the way that the equation is set up originally, like you can't tell what the slope is going to be. The only way you can tell what the slope is going to be is if you get y equals mx plus b. So I'm trying to solve for y right here. So I subtract the 5x, and right now I'm getting ready to divide by negative 7, negative 7. And when you divide, make sure you divide everything by negative 7. So I end up getting y is equal to negative 5 over negative 7 is positive 5 over 7. And then 15 divided by negative 7 will be negative 15 over 7. So now that it's set up in y equals mx plus b, I can look right here and clearly see what the slope is going to be. So the slope of this line is 5 over 7. And since the slope of this line is 5 over 7, the slope that I'm going to use in my equation is also going to be 5 over 7. If you look, I put M, that double tick mark is like a, a um, symbol for parallel. So I'm going to use 5 over 7 as my slope, and I'm going to plug it in along with this point 3, negative 1. So let's write our formula down. So the point slope form is y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So I need to plug in my slope and I need to plug in my point. So I can't remember what the slope was. Let me go back. It's 5 over 7. And then I'm going to plug in the point, which was 3. So x minus 3. And then over here, I got y minus negative 1. y minus negative 1, those two negatives are going to come together and make it positive, right? So let's erase that and just put y plus 1. Okay, so now I need to clean this up so I get y equals mx plus b. So my first step is to get rid of the parentheses. I'm going to distribute this 5 over 7. 
So 5 over 7x minus 5 over 7 times 3. You can put this in your calculator to figure out what that's going to be. It's going to be 15 over 7. And so I get y plus 1 is equal to 5 over 7x minus 15 over 7. One more step that is to subtract the 1. And if I put negative 15 over 7 minus 1 in my calculator, it's going to tell me that that value is equal to, hold on just a minute. Okay, that value is going to be equal to 22 over 7. And you can do this by looking in your calculator or you can do it by hand, either one. And this will be your final answer. So this is the equation of the line that goes through 3, negative 1 and is parallel to that original line. Now, let's talk about perpendicular real quick. So perpendicular, the two lines meet, but they meet at a specific point. So when they meet, they actually meet at a right angle. If you notice, I put like a little black box right there. The black box means it's 90 degrees. So these two lines, when they cross, they actually cross at a 90 degree angle. That's what makes them perpendicular. Now, the special thing about perpendicular lines is that they're opposite reciprocals. So we got these special words here, opposite reciprocal. So opposite means opposite sign, right? So if it's positive, I change it to negative. If it's negative, I change it to positive. But reciprocal means to flip. So let's say if I have the original slope is 3, then the perpendicular would be negative 1 over 3. Notice I changed the sign and I flipped it into a fraction. Let's say if I have a slope of negative 5 over 2, the perpendicular is going to be me changing the sign, so it's going to turn into a positive, and then it's going to change it to 2 over 5. And you notice that little upside down T is just the symbol for perpendicular. So you change the sign and you flip it. You do two things. That's why we say opposite reciprocal change the sign and you flip it. Now, let's see this in action. Let's go. So, let's say if I have negative 3, 1 and it is perpendicular, let's pretend like that says perpendicular. <laughs> uh, we have the point negative 3, 1 and then we want to find an equation that's perpendicular to 7x plus 3y is equal to 12. So I need to find a line that goes through the point negative 3, 1 and is perpendicular to this line. So we need a point, which we have, but I need a slope now. So you have to look at the equation to figure out what the slope is going to be. So let's do that. In order to find the slope of this equation, we got to solve for y. So I'm going to work through this and solve for y. Subtract the 7x. So you get 3y is equal to negative 7x plus 12. Then I'm going to divide by 3. And when you divide by 3, make sure you divide everything. And you end up getting y is equal to negative 7 divided by 3 that doesn't reduce, x, and then 12 divided by 3 is going to be equal to 4. So now that is set up in this, e in this form, I can look at it and tell that my slope is going to be negative 7 over 3. So my slope for this problem is going to be negative 7 over 3, but we're talking about perpendicular, right? So the slope that I'm going to use when I do the equation is going to be the opposite reciprocal of that. So I got to change the sign and I got to flip it. So it turns into 3 over 7, positive 3 over 7. So I'm going to use this slope along with this point to find my new equation. 
So let me clear the screen and let's try to find this equation. We're going to put our master uh, formula here, which is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. And I know what slope I'm, I'm plugging in is going to be 3 over 7. The point that I plug in, I forgot. Okay. The point that I plug in is going to be x minus negative 3. So x minus negative 3, those two negatives are going to turn into a positive. So I'm going to erase this and just put x plus 3. Is that okay? Okay, cool. All right, on the other side, I just have 1. So it's going to be y minus 1. Now let's clean it up. Let's clean it up until we get y equals mx plus b. So I distribute the 3 over 7. I get 3 over 7x plus, if I put this in the calculator, it'll be 9 over 7. And then one more move is to add 1 on both sides. And my answer will end up being y is equal to 3 over 7x. And then when I put 9 over 7 plus 1 in my calculator, you end up getting 16 over 7. And this is my final answer. Okay, so before we finish this up, I want to do one example of each type. Um, one more example of each. So let's say I want to find the equation that goes through negative 2, negative 5, and it is perpendicular to, let's say, negative 3x plus 5y is equal to 1. Okay, so this is talking about perpendicular. Like I said before, we already have the point we just need the slope. So I have to figure out what the slope of this equation is going to be. And once I find that slope, I take the opposite reciprocal. So let me move the 3x. So you get 5y is equal to 3x plus 1. Then I divide by 5, making sure I divide everything. And I get y is equal to 3 over 5x plus 1 fifth. Now I'm able to point out what the slope is going to be. The slope is going to be 3 over 5. But because this is a perpendicular, I have to find the opposite reciprocal. So the perpendicular slope that I'm going to use is going to be negative 5 over 3. So this is what I'm going to use to find the new equation this along with this point. So let's get a new page. Y minus Y1 is equal to MX minus X1. I try to write the formula every time I use it. So I'm going to use negative 5 over 3. And it's going to be x minus negative 2. So x minus negative 2. Again, those two negatives come together and make it positive. So instead of writing this, let me put x plus 2. So I'm going to erase this and just put x plus 2. And for my y value, it was negative 5. So it's going to be y minus negative 5. Again, those two negatives can come together and become positive. So let's just put y plus 5 and clean it up. Distribute, distribute. y plus 5 is equal to negative 5 over 3 x and then if I do negative 5 over 3 times 2, that's going to be negative 10 over 3. And then one more move is subtracting the 5 from both sides. And when I do negative 10 
over 3 uh, minus 5, I end up getting negative 25, negative 25 over 3. And this is my final answer. Okay, let's do one more example. And let's say I'm trying to find the equation that goes through the point seven, negative one. And this one is going to be parallel. Let's say that it's parallel to negative three X minus two Y equal to 10. So I'm trying to find the equation of the line that goes through uh, seven, negative one parallel to this line. So let's find the slope. So I'm going to add 3x to both sides. And once I make that move, I'm going to divide by negative 2 to get y by itself. I end up getting y is equal to negative 3 over 2x minus five, and I can clearly see my slope is negative three over two. And because this is a parallel, I don't need to change anything. It's gonna be the same slope. So I'm gonna use negative three over two along with this point to find my new equation. So I'm gonna write my formula again, y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. And I'm going to plug in my slope, which was negative 3 over 2. My point is x minus 7. And then my y value was negative 1, so that's minus negative 1. So let's just make it y plus 1. Then I distribute, distribute. Sorry about that. Distribute, there'll be negative 3 over 2x, and then this will be negative 3 over 2 times negative 7, which is positive 21 over 2. And then one more move, subtract the 1, that'll be negative 3 over 2x, and then 21 over 2 minus 1 is going to be 19 over 2. And here is your final answer. I hope this was helpful.